Drilling holes in metal is as common in the typical restoration and fabrication shop as turning on the lights. And there are many ways of laying out and drilling holes with precision. Sometimes the job requires a method better than a center punch and eyeballing will allow. Hi, I'm Sven Pruitt with Night Mission Customs. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use a wiggler tool to quickly and accurately position your work under the drill press spindle to allow you to drill holes with a high degree of precision. Here we go. So what's a wiggler? This is our wiggler set that we use in the shop here. It's very well worn as you can tell. It's an inexpensive small tool set that lets you accurately locate work pieces under a fixed spindle like a drill press or a mill. Now there's several tip designs and tools included in this kit and we'll zoom in on that here and show you the detail of that right now. This is your typical wiggler set. It includes a number of probes and a body that allows you to use a simple device like this to locate hole centers, edges, or in the case of what we want today, needlepoint precise location of a spot on a workpiece. Its main body is essentially a ball socket collet with a finger tightened nut, and in this case, four different probes. Now the first probe here is an indicator holder. This simply snaps in like all the other probes, but the one thing that's unique about this is it's never run under power in the spindle. This is always mounted in the spindle, the indicator mounted to this holder, and it is swept by hand. The next probe that we have here is the ball contact probe. I usually find this most useful in a mill, but it can be used in a drill press. And the idea here is it uses the same principle as most other center or edge finders in that it is run up against, once it's trued, it's run up against the edge of a piece of work until it goes eccentric. And as soon as it does, you do half the distance of the ball and you are right on the edge of the workpiece. Simple, but effective. The disc probe is very, in my opinion, redundant in that it does a similar job to the ball probe, but in my experience is a little less versatile. Um, I don't use this tip very much at all. And then the star of the show and what we'll be focusing on today is the needle probe. Once this probe is inserted into the spindle and snugged up, it will be trued to run absolutely perfectly. It'll look absolutely motionless at this tip when the spindle is under power. That will allow us to position the work very, very precisely under the spindle so that we can drill holes to within just a few thousandths of an inch every single time. Okay, we're over here at the drill press in the shop now and we're gonna go through the setup of using a wiggler with a needle point to accurately position a hole in a piece of work. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to set up the holder and the needle probe in the assembly and put that in your drill press spindle. And what you want to try to do is roughly center the probe. Set your drill press spindle for between 500 and 1000 RPM and make sure that your collet is reasonably snug. If the collet's too loose and you turn on your drill press and it starts to helicopter, which means the probe will fly out here to the extreme and swing in that arc, you need to tighten up the collet just a little bit. In this case, it should be reasonably firm without having any real slack in the system. So the next thing you do is you turn on your spindle and you'll see that it'll run eccentric. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of white card material underneath the spindle so we get a little bit better contrast so you can see what's going on. As you can see, I've got a small piece of wood here which is actually a small uh, wire brush handle and I'm going to run this in toward the needle end until it makes contact and it will run true. As you can see that it has now straightened itself out and is virtually motionless at the tip. This is exactly what we want. And what we know now is that the spindle is precisely centered under the point where this needle is. 
as long as we don't bump this or move it out of position, that point will be able to point directly to the spot where we want to drill. So we'll turn the spindle off. What I have down here is the equivalent of, let's say, the mark that you would make with a transfer punch or a center punch. What we want to do is we'll use the center punch mark first because that's very common. I'm going to move my clamp over into position here. We can very carefully align the work directly under the needle point until it is dead center where we like it. Clamp that work into position and now we all we have to do is remove the indicator and replace it with a drill bit. So we'll go ahead and put a hole here just as an example. You can see the bits, there's no wobble or anything. And even with this bit being a little bit on the dull side, it's drilling a hole in a very, very precise position that we established with the wiggler. So that's using a wiggler against a center punch mark. Okay, for our next setup, we're gonna be chasing a little bit more precision. So what I've done is I've taken our coupon and I've scribed a center point with a pair of calipers of the exact position that we would like to place a hole. The process is very similar. We'll take our wiggler assembly and we'll put it back in the spindle, snug up that collet, and I'm gonna go ahead and push this offset just to give you a little bit better idea of how this centering process works. And I'll put this card back underneath again for a little bit better idea how this works. So as you can see, it's very eccentric. So we'll go ahead and very slowly move our soft material into the point, at which point it goes completely motionless. As you can see, that tip is very, very still. And that's exactly where we want it. We know now that that point is directly along the center axis of the spindle and exactly where we're going to drill our hole. We'll move our card over until we're perfectly aligned. Clamp our work. And at this point, we can take the wiggler assembly out of the spindle and replace it with a center drill, in this case. And that will allow us to come right down into the work precisely on the spot that we marked. As you can see, the alignment of that hole is absolutely excellent, right at the spot that we selected with our wiggler tool. And we can go ahead, change out that center drill with any size drill that we want, and know that the position of that hole will be absolutely precise in the way that we set it up. Thanks for watching today, and I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to hammer that like button and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to be notified every time we upload new content. Also, here at Night Mission Customs, we are only interested in producing content that you want to see. So if you have a request or a suggestion for a video topic that you'd like to see us cover, or if you have a comment or question, drop us a note in the comments section below. I'm Sven Pruitt with Night Mission Customs wishing you the very best in all of your projects. And remember, the more you learn and the harder you work, the better your luck. Hope you get out in your shop and build something awesome. We'll see you next time.